Well, my name is Dr. Michelle Tubbs, but all the kids call me Miss Mickey, and I'm the founder of Circle LB. I was a part of the founding team for Fresh Head, and my partner retired, so I took over a different company. We've been working with homeschoolers for about five years now, and we just love it. It gives parents a choice. Instead of trying to fit in the box in public education, they have the ability to be creative. I have the resources to allow them to start where they are and take them where they need to go. So there's not the emotional pressure of school. The Circle LB is the newest outdoor education program in Long Beach. It gives parents choices. We are four-year-olds to 10-year-olds, and we feel it's really important to have the age groups together and separate. We are um, an experiential school, which means that we explore the world through all of our senses, not just through rote memory. And we just, we just live life. And we have a culture in the Circle LB that's very accepting. So our culture is very diverse. We have kids who have IEPs, have 504s, and we have kids that don't. And we recognize all of them. So we were looking for field trips during the pandemic and she was a go-getter. And so we came here for a science lesson and we just fell in love with the place. And when I founded the Circle LB, I decided we wanted to be an outdoor ed school. So we are housed at Bixby Park. We have an academic center we can go to during inclement weather. And then we asked Sheila if we could come here and learn about gardening and all the insects in the garden every Friday. I think the, the cross connections, like our Long Beach Gives campaign was so we could buy more beds and plant more seeds here at the garden. They are just fascinated with the life cycle of a seed, just to see a little leaf grow and to see where their food comes from. I had raised beds where I was an executive director at another school and the kids had cabbage parties instead of ice cream parties. And I remember going through and one kid, when they saw the Napa cabbage and they saw everything else, they asked where the noodles grow. And so it told me that kids really need to see where their food comes from.